hello and welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a gothic clothing haul mainly some summer pieces from three different shops there is Hollister again <laughs> Urban Outfitters and Primark so definitely the range of prices are there so these are all like high street stores I would say if you want to see what I've picked up then do subscribe and keep on watching and I will get into the video so I've got one thing from Hollister and then two things from both Urban Outfitters and Primark I did buy this stuff quite a while ago I think some of it I bought back in February and March but I was kind of gathering it together because I didn't have enough for like one haul per shop so I've put it all together but I think everything should still be available so I'll start with the Hollister item and as I said these are all perfect for kind of spring and summer so the first one from Hollister and this is the only Hollister item I have is a dress I love Hollister's like black plain dresses there's something about them like the quality is really nice they're really flattering a lot of the time um, and they're just perfect to accessorize with like belts and jewelry and that kind of thing so this is what it looks like and it's like a tea dress so with all of my clothing hauls i'll go through the details the quality the sizing and i will have a try on of each piece as well after i have talked about it so you can get a better idea of what it looks like on someone <laughs> this is what the dress looks like it's gonna look like black <laughs> on the camera but hopefully you can see it in the try on a little bit better so it's got these sleeves and these sit more off the shoulder like they kind of go diagonally on the shoulder so they don't sit completely upright but they do kind of cover your shoulders a little bit and they are puffy which is cute and they've got elastic in them so if i show you one up close yeah you can see that this is elastic at both sides so it's really really comfortable and then it's got a sweetheart neckline on it and as you can see this material is a bit loose fitting around the chest so it just gives it that flattering look and while my camera is overexposed you can see all the other details so it kind of has again that core city look where it kind of dips in at the front and then it's got the seam lines and then it goes down into a skirt and this one's more like a tiered skirt so you've got a seam line there and then there and it's just really cute it doesn't stick out at all it just kind of flares down into more of a a-line dress i would say it doesn't flare out at the waist like a skater dress would it does kind of go down in tiers but it's really really flattering and then the back is more like a scoop neck and it's really really stretchy it's got this um is it sheared shearing it's just got this stretchy back to it so it's really really comfortable it doesn't have a zip but because it is so stretchy you could just put it over your head and it's not a problem this one was 39 pounds and i got it in a small and this does say it's the regular size online they do different dress sizes for tall regular and short i think um so that's really good so if you are taller you can get this dress i believe in the tall version and it will be a bit longer so that's always nice because a lot of people have the problem where it's either too short on them or it's just not where they want it to sit for like short people like me i have had that problem a couple of times so it's nice that they do their dresses in different options but this is the regular one and it fits me really really well i also have a whole hollister haul which i will link in the eye for you i got some gorgeous pieces i got like a yellow tartan dress some leather pieces off of vintage that were hollister and some like basic summer tops and everything turned out really affordable with the discount i got off of it and i also got some things out of their like clearance section but one thing i said in that video was how good the sizing was i'm usually an 8 to 10 i'm usually a small and kill star but sometimes their sizing can be a bit off so i do think it's kind of rare for sizing to be accurate but hollister is the one place where i found it to be really accurate um everything i've bought from them i've bought in a small and it fits me perfectly and that's the main thing i love about hollister so although it is more simplistic it's you could definitely like goth this up in so many different ways you could put belts around it as i said you could put a harness around it for a grungy look you could add fishnet tights and winkle pickers for a more like trad goth look like you could do so many looks with these and i think that's why i like them so much because no matter what color or mood you're in you can style these to anything the quality of this one is really really nice as well i will say the material is a little bit on the see-through side quite a lot on the see-through side um but it does have a, another layer 
underneath which is a lot less see-through and this is actually stitched to the dress so it's not like one will blow up or anything so when you put them together it's not see-through at all so it does have that lining in it which makes it a lot better and it also does have a lining in the chest as well so just another detail um which goes into quality i've never found any quality issues in terms of stitching or anything like that i just really like the Hollister pieces and I can see myself buying some more things in the future um not for a while because I've done many hauls on my channel recently as you might have seen <laughs> um I did go a bit crazy in March and April so trying to be a bit better in May £39 I'd say maybe it's a bit on the pricier side for a dress that's so plain but the quality of it is really lovely um and I'm really happy with it and I did buy it in store I believe but they do have a website where they also have some really cool clearance things so things i'll go through are primark and again they're both black and then i've got some really exciting things from urban outfitters at the end so these i bought again in store primark doesn't have an online store and i bought some shorts and a kind of strappy top so i'll go through the shorts first these are kind of basic so i won't spend too long on them but i thought they were good if you struggle to find shorts like me so these are called cargo shorts and they did have two styles so one of them were more structured i would say but they stuck out really bad and almost looked like bloomers or something from like the 18th century so they didn't look great and then these were the other ones i tried on and these are cargo shorts mid-rise um, and i got them in a 10 and they were 12 pounds so that's what the label looks like if you'd like to get the same pair so they're basically just some black shorts again very very plain like there's not much to them i think they have pockets yes they do we love pockets and they've also got these kind of side pockets that are functional as well so they've kind of got this kind of flap on top of them and then you also have the normal pockets at the side there and then they do have belt loops so you can put a belt through it which i appreciate which are there and then they do have a button and as you can see they have a stretchy waist which is always good so even if you eat you will still get into these <laughs> <laughs> um they're a really nice length actually i am five foot two even at five foot two i find shorts can be really really short so i'd say these are a really nice length they're kind of nice if you prefer slightly longer shorts they're still not long or anything but i do find that these are a good length on me and i usually get primark tops in a small or an eight and then like skirts and shorts and although leggings i'm an extra small for some reason um but i usually get skirts and shorts in a 10 from primark and they always seem to fit me so i did get these in a 10 and i'd say they are true to size they're very very comfortable they're kind of thicker but not super thick actually they're not see-through at all which is really good i would expect the quality to not be as good for primark but these actually seem really nice the stitching doesn't look too bad or anything so yeah just a nice pair of black cargo shorts you could put these with like a striped top or some kind of gothy top and then belt them in the summer or put them with fishnet tights if it's not too warm you could definitely do something like that so i had to mention these again they're very basic but i think it's a summer goth essential <laughs> to do a summer goth essentials in terms of like fashion and accessories let me know in the comments um that idea has just come to me <laughs> so let me know if you would like to see that and i can definitely film that for you i also do have a how to survive summer as a goth video so i'll link that in the eye 
as well if you'd like to go and check that out and the last item from primark is again a very basic top and i wasn't going to get it but i just thought it was really pretty and it was really cheap it was like five pounds so i got this in a small actually saying that i did get this in a small which is a 10 to 12 but it looked really really small um it is stretchy like it's made out of this ribbed material but i did pick a small for this one because yeah as i as i said and as you can probably see it does look quite tiny <laughs> um so it's basically a like vest cami top whatever you want to call it it does have these thin straps made out of the same material so they're very stretchy they're not adjustable but this top sits really well on me so i'm not mad at all and they are stretchy so i appreciate that and then it goes into a slight v-neck it's not dramatic it doesn't sit like that kill star one that i hauled a while ago like it actually sits really nicely and what i what sold it to me was this lace trim around the front so it kind of sits more like this rather than this so that's what the lace looks like it's really pretty it's not that gross spiky lace or anything again that was on the kill star top it's just really elegant i would say and it goes all the way around the top it even goes onto the back which is nice it doesn't stop so it does go onto the back and then the end of the top kind of has this lettuce effect i think is what you call it where it's kind of not straight i think this top would have been nice with some lace around the like bottom of the top but then i will be tucking this into skirts i don't intend to wear it like as a crop top and i guess the lace might be a little bit itchy so maybe that's why they have done that but again the quality of this feels really nice it doesn't look see-through like this is one piece of the material like probably a little bit when you stretch it but again the quality seems really nice it was five pounds the stitching on this is honestly nicer than some of the higher end brands like when you look at it up close like that's the inside like that's really neat stitching that's definitely better than what i've seen from midnight hour disturbia even some killstar things so really impressed with this that was this one again five pounds absolute bargain and i think this with some striped shorts or even a skirt with this i think would look really cute so And the last two pieces are from Urban Outfitters. I nearly said Hollister. <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Now, I bought one thing from Urban Outfitters like over a year ago and it was this play suit. I'll put a photo if I can find it. But I bought it and I thought it looked really pretty. However, because it was red and black and it was really low cut and it was a play suit, but you couldn't tell it was a play suit. It just looked a bit much for what I would want to wear out. So I did end up selling that, although I thought it was nice. I just didn't feel comfortable wearing that out. It doesn't look bad in the photo, but when you put it on, you're like, yeah <laughs> this looks a bit much urban outfitters have bought out some really nice play suits and dresses recently that could definitely be styled in a gothic way so i do have i think one of them is a dress yeah, one of them is a dress and the other one is a play suit completely different vibes one of them is really like gothic and lacy and the other one is more like forest fairy <laughs> i'll start with the forest fairy one first so i saw this when i actually went to urban outfitters i believe in london and they have like a huge i think it's a three-story urban outfitters and i absolutely love looking through that shop i miss the one in like actually no i'm thinking of top shop i miss the big top shop in london that had like a dj and everything it was so cool this is what it looks like now it's looking very blue on camera but it's actually purple in person it has it's more like a bluey purple but it's definitely a lot more purple than it's showing up on the camera but it's basically this play suit and the kind of colors of it drew my attention to it it had money off of it and i just thought it was really really cute and really different to anything that i have i don't actually have a lot of purple in my wardrobe i have a lot of black <laughs> and probably the next color is probably orange actually <laughs> for my halloween wardrobe but probably red but i don't have a lot of purple so i thought this was perfect and it's so cute i can't wait to wear this now that i filmed this video i can wear it 
maybe next week <laughs> so it's got these mesh sleeves that are like this i don't know if the color's showing up but it's really like this purple um hopefully in the try on maybe you'll see it a bit better but again they're kind of similar to those hollister sleeves they're quite short and then it's got a again one of these necklines i seem to like these necklines at the moment they start off as like a square neck almost but go into a bit of a sweetheart neckline i would say like it dips in a little bit at the front so that's kind of the neckline and then it's got this bow on the front kind of similar to this neckline actually like this has a bow and kind of dips in it's very similar to this but i'd say this sits higher up and it's got ruching on the chest to give it that flattering look and then it just kind of goes straight down into a play suit so you wouldn't really know it's a play suit it does kind of look like a dress but as you can see it does have the shorts here and they're really flowy the whole material of this is mesh so as you can see i can pull this apart from the shorts so i'll show you the pattern up close again it is looking very blue but in person it's a lot more purple actually that looks a bit better it's just got this really pretty magical print it's like black bluey purple and purple with all of these flowers and i don't know why it just gave me like fairy vibes um and fun fact when i was younger and like you get asked what you wanted to be when you grew up i always wanted to be a fairy <laughs> that was gonna be my career <laughs> so i thought this was like a nice thing to that because i used to always want to be a fairy and i used to watch fairy programs i was obsessed with the tooth fairy so this is the closest i'm gonna get to living my fairy life <laughs> it fits me really well it is a size small and Everything I've bought from Urban Outfitters has always been a small. I haven't bought too much. Like I've bought four things. So one of them I sold, one of them I returned, and then the two I've got here. But everything, ah, everything has fit me really well. I've just noticed it actually says made in the United Kingdom. I didn't know that about Urban Outfitters. So that's really cool. I didn't, I didn't know that at all. And the pricing actually isn't too bad so this one originally was 46 pounds now it's definitely more than i would like to pay i usually like to pay around 30 pounds for a dress maybe 40 but this one was reduced to 36 so that was kind of perfect they did have i believe 20 percent off or 25 percent off a lot of their dresses when i went so you can definitely get some good deals and i don't think 36 for something like this is bad at all when you compare it to kind of other places that would do things like this so i don't think that's bad um but that's what the tag is like but yeah so i just think it's really cute i can't wait to wear it the quality of this seems nice the mesh is really soft it does have stretch in the chest because of all of this ruching like it does have a little bit of stretch to it um and the lining inside also is stretchy um, and that's another thing it does have a lining inside so it's not see-through at all it's just really really cute um, and I can't wait to put a different outfit together again it's very different to what I have I have a lot of florally mesh things like this but I think this one's very different now I've figured out I can actually wear blue eyeshadow <laughs> I always thought because I've got quite pink skin it would clash but I think because I've added like a icy white sparkle over the eyeshadow, I actually think it works quite well and it matches the flowers. So I could definitely do a bluey purple look with this. The last item in this haul, again from Urban Outfitters, is one that's very lacy, <laughs> different style completely, um, and this one is a dress. And I went to a different Urban Outfitters in London because I've been up to London quite a few times um, recently. <laughs> again that's another reason i'm not buying too many clothes because london is expensive <laughs> but 
but I saw this and I actually ran out of time because we were seeing Phantom of the Opera as like a delayed birthday present. It was amazing. <laughs> Watch my spring favourites, I'll put it in the eye. My Phantom Obsession has come back and I'm literally obsessed. Yeah, so I didn't have a lot of time and we had to go. So I found this in store but I didn't have time to really decide if I wanted it. So I ordered this and another dress online. It, I ordered a like maxi mesh dress with roses and i wish they did that dress in a shorter version because it was gorgeous but the whole thing was see-through so you would have to wear something underneath and then the rose pattern got covered up and it was just i didn't think i'd get much wear out of it so i did return that one but i did keep this <laughs> it's kind of in this style it's more of a scoop neck but again it's quite low like this one it's got these like puffy lace sleeves now this lace they've used is gorgeous um it's really like dark and really patterned with flowers on it i just love the lace that they've used for this like look at that it's really really pretty and again elastic at both sides so it won't hurt your arms at all and it just sits really well and then the neckline of this is a bit hard to show you because it does tie but it's very like scoop necked <laughs> it does have a scoop neck and then it ties here so it's definitely more rounded than like a v that's showing because it does have a tie there in fact maybe i'll just do this up yeah that's better so it's kind of like that um and then it does have a tie on the front and that is made out of black velvet ribbon so that's nice obviously you want to do it up a lot nicer <laughs> than what i've just thrown together there but as you can see this bit is see-through i'm not crazy about that if i'm honest i wish it was a bit more shut but it does kind of sit like that and then it's got this i don't know like a nude colored material underneath this lace it's kind of like kind of like lingerie <laughs> I always think that word's really like weird to say. It kind of is those kind of vibes a little bit, but I thought it was really nice. So not my usual go-to, <laughs> but um, never mind. And then it goes into this corset style. And I think this is like a trend at the moment. Everywhere's doing corset style things. So this one, it looks like it's got boning in, but it's not. It's just the way it's been stitched. Again, it's got that nude colored material under the mesh. And as you can see, it does have the eyelets here now these are actually functional if i undo one at the front so this is how you would get it on you would have to undo this and then you would put these through the eyelets there the only concern is if like it started to undo but i think once you've got it on it would be fine um and this brings in the waist and gives it a really flattering look like i really do like this detail again if i hold it up you can see how nicely that waist sits and then it just flares out into a skater dress i would say and again it's this kind of nude colored material if i look underneath like this and then the lace sits on top of it the same lace that's used for the sleeves it's just really pretty and another thing i liked about this that i didn't know at first is the materials kind of cut in an asymmetrical i don't know if you'd call it that it kind of goes into points so it definitely has witchy vibes um but it's not just like straight material at the bottom it is a bit more almost layered looking because it does point in different places so that's the kind of style of the bottom of it but i just think it's really pretty again very different to what i usually wear and also this is by urban outfitters but i think they have a few other brands because this is by the brand light after light before dark not light after dark um, but it is an urban outfitters brand so i definitely say you can get some of the darker lacy velvety pieces in the light before dark brand so if you are looking at urban outfitters definitely search for this brand and you should get things like this come up i got it in a small and it fits me perfectly i think it's a tiny bit tight on the waist but i didn't want to size up because i really liked the way it looked so i think it was a tiny bit on the tighter side but not worth me sending it back i just think it's really pretty the whole thing is really really stretchy this bit not so much it has a bit of give i would say but not a lot of stretch i'd say the length is nice it's not too short or anything it's actually a really nice length so yeah the only thing i would say is the scoop neck is quite low um and it does have that hole which i'm not crazy about in the middle of it but apart from that i really like this one this one was 59 pounds so definitely more on the expensive side i don't think i paid that i believe i got 20 percent off and i paid around 40 something so more expensive than the other one
two very alternative looking i'm not sure if you'd call this one gothic but it could definitely be styled in a gothic way but two very unique gothic pieces from urban outfitters that could definitely be styled in an alternative way so definitely check urban outfitters and don't be put off by the price because they do have a lot of sales so again like 36 for a play suit i don't think is crazy compared to like the dresses from killstar that are now like starting at 72 pounds so yeah definitely check them out so that was everything in my gothic clothing haul definitely the range of different things let me know what you thought of these pieces in the comments below also let me know if you'd like to hear that summer essentials i could do things like fishnet tights and different sunglasses and where to find things um let me know if you'd like that video do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and hopefully i'll see you in my next one Bye.